guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Meg's Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video, so let's get into it. Okay, so like I said in my previous video, if you haven't checked that out, these reviews have been done back to back, um, so hopefully I should be uploading them back to back, hence why the same shirt. <laughs> Um, but yes, continuing on from the remake, the next film was the prequel, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Uh, when did this come out? 2013, I believe this came out? Yeah, so we're now nearing the end of my franchise watch. I have three movies to go now. Three. Getting through them, slowly but surely. <laughs> But um, yes, so Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. This is basically the prequel to the remake. Um, so we're getting the same actors from the first one coming back, playing the same characters. But we're getting a bit more of a backstory to before the events of the remake. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's basically just, that's the plot summary there and then. It's just like, we're back with the Hewitts. We're seeing how everything started and... We're with a new group of teenage, well, young adults. I'm going to say young adults, which is so much easier. Uh, we're back with a bunch of young adults, um, two of which are heading off to war. Um, well, at least one of them is. And basically, they just end up getting caught by the Hewitt family, and we all know the plot by now. I don't think it ever changes, which is quite sad, really. Um, but there we go. And my thoughts on this one? I enjoyed this one just close enough to the remake um i think it's because of how sort of like dark it went i like the backstory of sheriff Hoyt. um i'm not going to say what his backstory is um but no i liked seeing the backstory i liked seeing the origins of leatherface and sort of like how his family came to be who they were and sort of like that's so like the first killings he did you know everything like that i do like an origin story yes sometimes they can be hit or miss but this one i definitely do think is a hit um i do enjoy the characters in this one um they're not as annoying uh, there's one character that is annoying but i won't say who but i really enjoyed this one in the sense of the kills were pretty gory it takes it back to horror once again i think that's what this franchise was missing is that sorry for the lighting changes <laughs> the sun's going in and out <laughs> um but with this one the kills were ramped up it was nice to see that or pretty much i think all the actors to be honest came back for this one um that were the hewitt family anyway and i liked the ending of this film as well because i think it did something a little bit different um, it does happen sometimes, it's very rare though, but what they did at the end I did appreciate because it was something different. It did shock me, some of the stuff that thing that happened in this film. But um, yeah, I actually quite enjoyed this one. Not as much as the remake, I do enjoy the remake just a little bit more compared to this one. Because I mean there was some stuff in here like they um, showed the origin story of why one of the characters in the first one has no legs. But I was just like... Do we really need to know why that happened? Like, just little things like that. But overall, I think this might end up being one of my guilty pleasures. Because I know a few people like this film. Um, but they prefer the remake and stuff like that. Um, but no, I, like I said, this I can't really say much about this one. Because it is, this is what, this. I think this is why I can't get into the franchise, I will speak. I think the reason why I can't get into the franchise is because every single time I watch one of these films, it tends to repeat itself. It doesn't do anything different. It's different characters, obviously Hewitt instead of Sawyer, um, but it's still kind of the same plot and they still try and do some of the stuff that was in the first one and that's with every sequel and I think that's why I really cannot get into it because I don't like repeats because sequels are supposed to kind of repeat in the sense but also do something different so like what's the best way to do it kind of like the nightmare on elm street films you know they were kind of similar in a sense obviously based on nightmares but at least each one was different i mean the first one was based on nancy the second one was based on um i can't remember his name now but um there was sort of like a different tone to it 
Then you had the third one, which was about a group of teenagers. So it was different each time. But with this one, it just seems to be, it's gone, it went from really creepy to comedic and kind of creepy. Then it just went to weird, just like it was just boring. I couldn't get into that one. Then with Next Generation, it was so weird and outlandish. And it just sort of like, it just started off quite good. Then it just sort of like, it picked up a little bit. Then it just kind of went down again, down again. Then it picked up with the remake. And then this one kind of just sort of like borderlines it in a sense. I think that's the best way to explain it. But you will notice, if you're like me who's watching them day by day or having to watch two day by day, um, then you'll see the pattern. It's not like I'm watching one film, a few weeks later watching the next one, a few weeks later watching the next one. Then you probably couldn't see it. But because I'm watching this day after day, I am seeing the repeats. Which is quite sad really, because with a franchise like this, I was kind of hoping they'd be doing different stuff. But, there we go. But, anyway, back to um, this, because I kind of went off, <laughs> kind of rambled there. Um, with this one, I did, like I said, I do enjoy this one. Not as much as the remake, but this is pretty close. Um, so, to give this a final score, probably a 3.5 out of 5. Um, it's close to that four, like um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Remake was. But like I said, because it did feel kind of like a repeat and there was some stuff they could have done without, I still quite enjoyed this film just for the kills, the, the characters, stuff like that. So, yeah. So, we're now getting through the franchise. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy this, if you like me reviewing the films before I do a ranking. Um... Because obviously it gives you a bit more detail of my thoughts on each film. But um, if you don't, then please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on what I've been doing with this. Because if you guys do enjoy it, then I could continue doing it for whenever I do sort of like big franchises. It's like Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, um, stuff like the Child's Play series, stuff like that. I could do that. I don't know if I'll do it for like big company ones, so like Pixar and Disney. Unless you guys want to see that. If you guys want to see that, then I can do that. But, um, because to be honest, there is quite a few Disney films I'd love to review for you guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Um, obviously the next one is Texas Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. Now I did what... Blah, 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 blah. I did watch this one at some point either last month or the month before but I will do a first time watch review for it so that way you guys get my thoughts on it um, plus also I'm reviewing the franchise anyway so <laughs> but, um, yeah so check that out when that comes out so yeah really hope you enjoyed this video if you did do give it a thumbs up if you are new to this channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet then do so that little subscribe button just down in the corner there and also the notification bell of when I post. And also leave me comments down below your thoughts on this film. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Did you enjoy it more than the remake itself? Please let me know in the comments down below because I would love your thoughts. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!